Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Jacob and welcome back to my read-along for In Search of Truth. Today we are going to start on page 8, still in the introduction, and we're going to go um, start with the first full paragraph. I have a small statue of a Hindu god in my office. It was given to me by an Indian graduate student I worked with. It represents Shiva. I came to learn that Shiva is not only the god of creation, but also that of destruction. I found this odd that the Hindus believe that one god is over two seemingly opposite things. However, the idea made sense when explained to me. It is impossible to make something out of nothing. Hence, to create something new in the universe, it must always have come from something that was already there. Thus, destruction is a first step in creation. This is also the same with finding truth. Your mind is full of ideas. Most of them are probably incorrect. If you are to make room for correct principles, you will have to be willing to destroy or cast out the inaccurate ones. Destruction is never a happy thing. It is difficult to go through. Those who have been through it realize that. To find the truth, one must be willing and capable of opening their life and letting go of anything and everything. Because the mind shapes all that we do. Nothing is safe. The mind affects all the aspects of our life, including our career, religion, family, relationships, and hobbies. When I received this present um, from this Indian graduate student of the Hindu god Shiva, it was kind of a surprise to me. I, I did not know much about the Hindu um, religion. But as I learned about the god of Shiva and the ideas behind this god, I started to realize it's a very profound um, idea, which is if you want to create something new, if you want to learn something, in other words, the first step in being able to learn and understand is first destruction. Or in other words, in order to open your mind up to new possibilities and be able to see a more accurate vision of reality, you first have to get some rid or destroy something that is inaccurate in your life. And this is kind of a, was a shock to me at that time. Because when you learn and when people teach you, they tell you you need to find new things. But they never tell you that as you find new things, in order to make room in your mind for these new things, you have to get rid of something that was inaccurate in your mind. And this is something that I think holds a lot of people back from being able to figure things out in life, learn, improve, and move forward. Which is, whenever we move, we try to hold on to all of these other things that we picked up in life. But in reality, we have to get rid of them. All of our inaccurate ideas, as soon as we figure out the inaccurate ideas in our mind and get rid of them, that is really what allows us to learn. And so your goal for this weekend, and my challenge to you for this week, is look in your mind, look in your life. Identify something that is inaccurate in your mind. Something that is inaccurate in what you believe. Because this, more than anything, is going to allow you to adjust your views and be able to see more of the truth. This is something that's very difficult. And when you think of the word destruction, destruction is never a happy, good feeling type thing. It's always a difficult time in someone's life or a difficult thing, always inflicting pain when, whenever you hear destruction. And that's very similar to what it will be like when you try to get rid of something that's inaccurate in your mind. You don't want to know you're wrong. You know, that's not something that comes naturally to people. To be criticized someone telling you that something you're doing is not the best, that's not something that people love to hear. At least, not that most people love to hear. But it's what 
most successful people really look for and really want to hear from others because they found in order for them to get better they have to get someone's view or they have to learn what they're doing wrong what's inaccurate about what they're doing this goes true with many sports players that become very good at their sport especially in business you find that many people who have become successful in business business they failed many times but Instead of when they fail thinking, I did everything right, they looked to identify from other people what did they do wrong. They try and find ways and things in which they can improve what they did. In order to be able to learn the keys of success, to be able to see reality, you have to first figure out, well, what are you seeing that's wrong? What's inaccurate? So hopefully this week, you can muster up your courage and be able to, um, to open yourself up to criticism and hopefully figure out at least one thing in your mind that was inaccurate. And I guarantee if you do this on a consistent basis and try to figure these things out that are inaccurate in your mind that you need to get rid of, that success and understanding reality will not be far away. Thank you so much. You have a great week. Thank you for watching. If you like the video and you want to see more, press the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below and we'll answer them in future videos.